Stupid. Do not watch. Monster truck clips before going out. I've been watching this for the last 30 minutes. And uh, let me tell you, it doesn't it doesn't make you want to go and, uh, and enjoy just a, a casual day off roading. Uh, so yeah, don't watch monster truck clips before going out. We're out in Rimba State Forest, um, this is the entry of it. Nice little sort of banking area where you can deflate your tyres and do whatever you need to do. Run you through the through um, some of the equipment that we're bringing out and do bring out on a normal day out. Blankets for snatch roping. If you have not looked into blankets, go do a bit of research and you understand um, the importance of them. Uh, a block. Just in case we've got to jack the car up on unstable ground, even soft ground always helps. If you've got a shovel, we never know when you use that. Two sets of max tracks, very helpful. We've got the chairs, fold out chairs. We'll end up having a break at some point. Um, in the back here, we have. So we got, this is the equipment bag. A uh, long sort of hacking saw for any shrubs or Sticks or bushes hanging out in the middle of our path. You don't want to scratch your car. It's a new car. We got um, tire recovery equipment. We got the shovel again. First aid kit. Headlamp in case we lose light. We have got a couple of tools in here as well. We um, walkie talkies should be in there. D shackles. We also have the snatch ropes. Bought a new one today. Just a second one for spare. That's a nine meter one. We got a six meter one. There, both. We also have the equalizer strap down here. A bit of um. Video equipment down behind the chair. We have the compressor. Get your hands on a, a compressor. Very, very useful. You never know when you use it. It's only a couple of hundred bucks to get yourself a decent one. Esky from drinks, snacks, whatever you need. Bible. We are Christians, so we will end up um, having a bit of fellowship out here. Um, and yeah, we did come out alone today. Keep in mind, not a very, very smart decision. Um, no one else was, was able to come out today. Um, not the best idea to be going out alone. You never know what's going to, what can go wrong. Even if you have the best rigged up car, there's always a possibility of something going wrong. It's not worth the risk, so we're not going to be doing nothing um, too risky or difficult today. George, tire pressure. We're going 18 all around. Um, you can go 20, a bit higher, but I guess we'll just, as much grip as we can get, we'll, yeah. You can even go lower. If you have to, but well, probably safe bet. Just keep it at 18. If you ever do need to go lower, you can always go, always go lower. You just adjust as you go. Do you reckon it's best for this terrain? 18? Well, I think 18 is good. I mean, you can never go 20, it's really dry. So, grip wise, we should be okay. Okay, so we're going 18 front and back. Um, like you said, it's very dry. It's very dry out here. So, we're going to probably go 18. And if, if we're not finding enough traction, we'll, we'll go lower. Guys, check out the description as well. Um, we've got a lot of info in there and trips to come. Um, just about this trip in general and we also leave a Bible verse at the bottom just for anyone who's interested or curious um, yeah enjoy the trip okay this this tiny obstacle behind me if any of you remember from the video that we had the um, Hilux the Volkswagen Amarok and the Tridents we're dying to make it up this thing today because the Amarok and the Hilux both made it up the Trident was the only one that wasn't able to our balance that was scraping were, were very low on um on clearance and also we went in the right setting the right forward drive setting so today we're trying it we've locked the center tire pressure is pretty low um, and we've actually taken out the balancer from the um, underside of the trident Restricted on height, we're not getting clearance off that diff. Bigger tires would solve that, but um, yeah, so we've packed up the back tire just to give it a bit more height just to clear that diff, and we'll see how we go this time around. He's got to accept the feet sometimes. Not fun, but you gotta accept the feet sometimes. 
just for a bit of a challenge. We're going to try and make it up. This thing's pretty steep. Pretty confident that eventually we'll get it. Yeah, push us luck. Keep going straight. Right, 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 right. Let's see if we do it. Straight. Straight, don't go right, let's see. Come back a bit and get a bit more momentum. Back a bit more. Stop. That's it. Get momentum over that first bump and then climb that second one. Come back 20 centimeters and give it a bit more. Stop. Okay, what's been happening is um, by the time he gets to the, the two points where the front tyres have this big rut to get over, he hasn't built enough torque. The torque on the Mitsubishi Trotter comes a bit late. So we've reversed a bit more. So by the time he gets to that point where he can't get over, he would have spooled up enough to get enough torque to pull him over it. Keep going bro, keep going. Straight, 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 so you back your bit over. Now hook left. Beautiful. So, we've driven past this. This will be interesting. We have this big rock to get over. And then up ahead are a bunch of other obstacles that we're going to try getting past. Right, right. Right at touch and straight.
got a right touch. Keep coming. Touch right. Touch right. Yeah, bro, just keep it coming straight. Straight on, come down. You know how to stand the back wheels? You have all those wires and stuff? Is that rock and heat then? No, you'll be fine. You just come down the wall and we lift it up. You'll be alright. Just keep on the back bar and that's it. Coming down. Keep going. Say so. Very good. Yeah, fine. What? Not here? Okay. We're done. We're back down at the um, entry. Successful day, if you ask me. What makes it a successful day? No body damage. No tire punctures. Again. For anyone that's really, really new to this stuff, never take your take your deflated tires on the road. The inside of your tire begins to wear extremely due to being so flat and the weight, the weight of the car pushing it down with such big curvatures in it, constantly with that heat, starts to peel apart the inside of that tire, causes it to eventually blow up, it weakens the tire. Very, very bad. Always pump up your tires as soon as you can before getting onto the road. And if you can't and you don't have a compressor on you at the time, drive extremely slow, more so in bends. Do not put any sort of sideway pressure on your, on your tires when they're deflated. To the subscribers, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Drop your comments in, any criticism, anything that we can learn from today. Anything you've enjoyed, please drop the comments. We read all of them. We get back to them. To anyone just watching now, if you want to see more of these or backtrack our videos and watch some of the other ones, please subscribe. Off those, yeah. Back on the road, mate. What is that? Back on the road, mate. Don't I tell me you've seen that. our clip. <laughs> ah, no. We have some viewers right here. <laughs> <laughs> How it is? Then, you haven't seen it, have you? Because you're thinking, what the hell is this guy talking yeah. about? <laughs> <laughs> it's not on the road, but it's my mates. Oh, yeah. Unfortunately.